Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D-Lord and welcome back to another episode of our Pittsburgh Steelers Madden 20 Premier Madden League Series. Now we are currently sitting at 500, 5 and 5. You see the two teams on top of us, they are both 7 and 4. So this is essentially a must win game we do not want to drop this game we're taking on the new york jets who are currently sitting with a four and six record now going ahead and taking a look at their depth chart they have some talent and they have a ton of speed emory jones quarterback from florida 90 speed zamir white 92 speed isaiah spiller 92 speed evan penny 90 speed look at the wide receivers tyler wallace 94 speed wilson 92 speed and you know our achilles heel is trying to guard fast receivers so we're going to, have to try to come up with some type of game plan to try to keep these guys in check they also have oj howard 87 speed offensive line very very solid across the board 84 overall rookie you have a great center you can use some help at right guard but the right tackle is also very very solid defense of line eh, it's okay Defense line is okay until you get to Quentin Williams, 90 overall. But the problem with this team is once you get to the linebacker, they have my guy Chase Young, 91 overall, fear monger. This guy is going to be a problem, especially with that 87 speed, able to get to the edge, able to make plays, 95 block shedding. This dude is flat out incredible, man. So we have to try to figure out how to slow him down. CJ Mosley, he is a playmaker as well. Charles Harris, an 88 speed guy, another guy who looks good. Looking at the um, corners, they all have speed all over like 93 and above. So very, very fast, man. So let's go ahead, jump into the game, see what we can do. Right here early on is third and 12 and Chase Young. He is making his presence known right away. Coming up with that sex. Here come the Jets. Here comes Amir White. Taking this one to the outside and the shoestring tackle from Brandon Sebastian. Second and 10. Emory Jones taking a shot deep down the field and this one is going to be picked off. We were able to come up with the interception and here comes Edmonds. Can he make a play with it? Well, he will end up taking it down to the 27 yard line. So not too bad. Third and 10. Here we go. Taking a shot deep down the field. Trevor Lawrence looking for Juju, but this one will fall incomplete. The Jets now with the football third and seven. Emory Jones, he's taking another shot down the field and this time it will be caught. And just like that, they are into Pittsburgh territory. Emory Jones sees the pressure. He cannot get rid of it this time. Takes the sack, and they will end up settling for a field goal attempt, which is up, and it is good. So early 3-0 lead here in this ballgame. Here is Trevor Lawrence dropping back, taking a shot down the field, and this time he will connect with Juju Smith-Schuster, making that catch, going down in Jets territory. Then our running back, Gray, he gets a nice carry right there. That will be a first down. Two plays later, rolling out to our right. This is going to be Trevor Lawrence. He's going to look for Eric Gray, who makes the catch, and he has a little bit of room to run, taking that one inside of the 10-yard line, but we have to capitalize. But instead of capitalizing, we make a huge mistake, throwing the interception to Jamal Adams. Nobody touches him. Jamal Adams gets up. He is sprinting down the field. Can somebody, anybody catch him? Absolutely not. That is going to be a huge pick six. We went from the verge of at least getting a field goal to giving up a touchdown. So we're now trailing 9-0. The Jets, after a great punt, they're starting to drive at the three-yard line. They get a very good run there. A couple plays later, third down. They're going to go right back to the running back who makes that reception. Takes a big hit from Devin Bush. That will be a first down. Second and 11. We're going right past Ryan Shazier. I don't know why he didn't put a hand up or anything to try to knock that down. That will be a first down. Third and nine, taking a shot down the field again. Another completion for the New York Jets so now one minute remaining here in the half Emory Jones trying to get this one into the end zone rolling out to his right looking for a receiver cannot find a receiver and eventually Justin Houston will catch up to him bringing him down for a sack second and 20 taking the shot in the end zone one on one and Jalen Mills will do a great job knocking this one out they will have to settle for a field goal and we are going to go into halftime with the score being 12 to nothing now here in the third quarter the Jets and Emory Jones trying to get something going rolling out to his left and Emory will do a little too much because he throws the football directly to Bud Dupree who comes up with that interception and we are taking over at the 30 yard line two plays later Trevor Lawrence dropping back trying to find a receiver but instead he's going to find his man Chase Young once again we will end up having to settle for a field goal this one will be good we finally get on the board man but that is a huge loss for us 
couple plays later. It is second and 10, and we get brought down for a sack. So now third and 20. T-Law taking the shot, looking for Grant Calcaterra, and the All-Pro goes up over Jamal Adams, makes the reception. First and 10. Lawrence looking to the tight end once again, making another grab. So we're down in New York territory, but we make a fatal mistake again. Throwing an interception, and I don't think nobody's going to catch him. That is now one but two pick sixes in this game. That is tough to come back from, especially in a defensive game like this. But we have to try. 18-3 to is the score, and we throw yet another interception here in this ball game. Three picks thrown so far from Trevor Lawrence. So here come the Jets. What can they do with it? They're taking a shot down the field, and we're lucky because we get this football right back. That is Sean Davis making that interception. And like I said, we stopped it from scoring, but we had to get more than just a field goal at this point. Third and 15, a clutch reception right there from Juju. First down, two plays later, Trevor Lawrence going with the play fake. He's going to end up stepping up in the pocket, running, sliding down safely. That's the key word, safely, down to the 31-yard line. The next play, another play fake. This time taking a shot in the end zone, looking for LaVisca Chanel Jr. Does not make the catch, but there will be a defensive pass interference. So then the next play, good old quarterback sneak. That's getting us into the end zone so now we are only down by eight points right away we find James Washington on the dig route he makes that reception first and ten we're dropping back but Chase Young again his fifth sack of the game making his presence known but right here we're trying to find Grant Calcaterra and he will just barely overthrow him third and 19 pressure coming and down goes Trevor Lawrence again so can I get anything going under four minutes to go in the ball game Emory Jones has all day but he cannot let it go and he will be brought down for a sack so now third and 23 all we gotta do is play the sticks don't give up anything and we do a good job that falls incomplete so now we get the football under 230 in the ball game and right away we find Grant Calcaterra good play the next play right before the two minute warning we're gonna find Eric Gray gets cut two minute warning though things are looking okay Trevor Lawrence now dropping back looking on the dig route and this time he telegraphs the throw it is intercepted and just like that man this game is almost over we have to come up with a stop one first down and it is a wrap second down do a great job third and ten he surprised us by going with the pass we we'll do a great job covering Emory Jones is going to take off running we have to stop him from getting the first down and we don't the juke move will do it and that will win the ball game 18 to 10 is the final score man we just could not get things done when we needed to get it done terrible performance on the offensive side of the football defense didn't do bad we did not give up one offensive touchdown just couldn't do anything offensively trevor lawrence 16 of 29 no touchdowns four interceptions I mean, Emory Jones didn't throw a touchdown either, man. It was a, it's a sloppy game offensively, really, for both teams. Seven carries for 16 yards from Eric Gray. He did have four catches. Grant Calcaterra did have four for 67. Juju Smith-Schuster, three for 59. Um, LaVisca should note just two for 22, man. But look at the sacks that we gave up. There was more sacks than just those right there. It was pathetic, man. Our offensive line did not do their part. Kobe Boyce led us in tackles. You know how I feel about that. Devin Bush had a solid day. We did get a couple of interceptions. Sean Davis had a solid game. But then look at this. After the game, you know, we're going through, ready to upgrade players, and the game crashes. I don't know if you guys ever had this problem. I'm thinking maybe it was just a fluke incident. So I load back into the franchise. We go right back to upgrade players. It freezes. And then once again, we are going to get the blue crash so i don't know what is going on if you guys ever had this issue man where the game doesn't let you upgrade your players let me know because this is definitely new to me never seen this before man but taking a look at the standings after we dropped that game we are now five and six like i said it does not look good our chances look very bleak to try to win the division but hey, we try to finish out the season strong, do what we could do best, man. One more season here in this franchise after this season anyway. So we'll see what we could do. But the next game, we're taking on the Miami Dolphins. Cookie Boy, they're sitting with an eight and three record. That one will definitely be tough. But just for kicks and giggles, I tried it one more time. Why not go to upgrade players and see if it works this time? But of course, it's not going to work. So that's where we're going to go ahead and end this one, man. As usual, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please go ahead. Leave this video a like, man. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.